our president, uh, Michael Bidwell, and his sister saw a need specifically with one of our uh, former players was Roy Green. He was having some health issues, and he didn't really know where to start. Um, so they found the need, and Michael implemented my position to you know, reach out to, to guys and let them know kind of all the benefits that are out there. And I'm really their central point of contact mm -hmm. within the club. So really, if they have questions about anything, uh, it's kind of funny because when I started, I was hitting these guys up a lot. Um, just because it's so overwhelming with all the benefits out there. So they can call me. I may not have the answer immediately, but I have resources that I can go to. Uh, so that's how my position started. I'm Anthony Beck. I played 11 years tight end in the NFL, played for five different teams. I'm also here with Kelly Mertens. He's our, our managing director for the Players Trust. Uh, the Players Trust was formed in uh, November of 2013. I've been a part of them for about three and a half years now. There's nine captains, similar to the Legends coordinators, that are scattered out throughout the country. And uh, we do our you know, boots to the ground, engaging with players and offering them services in accordance to the pillars that we formed, career, uh, business, education, uh, finances, personal interactions, and uh, we, we basically put programs together which the current players fought for funds from the owners for us to put this together for former players. So uh, we're doing a lot of great work and uh, we'll talk about a couple of those things mm -hmm. that we're doing later on. My name is Andrew Joe. I'm the senior manager of retired player programs at the NFL um, and in that role I am a case manager for the NFL Player Care Foundation. Uh, I have been in that role for four years now and when we started or I should say when I started at the Player Care Foundation in 2014, it was very much uh, kind of a grassroots uh, type of uh, foundation and we're really trying to expand kind of uh, that communication and that support to uh, not only kind of different departments within the NFL, but uh, out to the 32 clubs as well. Um, we'll certainly be talking about how, um, you know, we can kind of share some of that work with the club, so. Great, and I'm Patrick Reynolds. Uh, you heard from me a little bit earlier in an impromptu performance, but I work for a company called PRM Consulting. At this time, last year when I spoke to you, I worked for the league office, and I had worked there for uh, nine seasons. So uh, now I'm out on my own. A a PRM is a subsidiary of Aon Hewitt and uh, Alight Solutions, which you may have heard of in some form or another with benefits administration. So in my current role, I work closely with the league office and with those companies to help both with the administration of benefits and with the communication to the clubs and to the players. So you guys have been amazing, the programs and things that you do and how you facilitate. And I want to make sure that everyone knows, th you know, when you reach out, they'll reach back. And so you definitely have someone that's going to be able to respond to you. And so Anthony, with the trust, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what's new in you guys space? And uh, because we always get the question, well, what about the guys who are 15 years and beyond? What's yeah. out there? So if you can kind of go through a little bit about what it is that you guys do and then what's new and then how they can uh, get engaged with that. Yeah, so we have 4,000, roughly uh, 4,000 players that are, have activated their benefit. And that's what we say. We activate your benefit. It's like your 401K. It's your annuity. It's something the players have earned, and that's how they unlock their services. Uh, we bring them in for intake, they fill out some information uh, that they give us, and then we sit down with them and we find the programs that, that, that's needed for them. Uh, some of the new things that we're proud of uh, as part of one of our pillars is brain and body. You know, we give a full assessment for guys that are within 15 years of their last NFL football game. We'll take them to some uh, very strong medical institutions, University of North Carolina, the Cleveland Clinics. Um, we also send you to UMass Medical and then Tulane also. And these players will go and they'll get a full assessment top to bottom, brain, MRI, cognitive testing. They also get, uh, you know, some behavioral testing. They'll get a full ortho, uh, muscular uh, checkup, everything that has to do for, with them with leaving the game and putting them in a place where they need to be. And what we've done is we've formulated a program for guys now that are, we call the milestone assessment, uh, pro, uh, wellness assessment, which is the guys now that are 15 years and above, and we've really honed this in. I think the biggest thing is they're not suffering and having the same issues as guys that maybe had left two, three, four, five years out of the game. So when you're talking about high blood pressure, uh, you're talking about sleep, ortho, they'll still get their brain, blood pressure, uh, the, the heart, the cardiovascular side, all those things are encompassed. We also bring their, their significant other with them. It's important that you have that group uh, together, that, that, that piece that's with you day to day, because sometimes as players, we're a little prideful. So if your spouse is there with you, you guys can go through this together and really hone in to if there are issues, we can move forward and, uh, and get that help that you need. Uh, this is 100% private. 
uh, to the players and, their, and, and the families. They're the only ones that get the information. We don't get the information as a trust. The hospital gets your information. You, the doctor, they lock it in the vault, and it's, it's for you to use. If it's something that can help you benefit uh, moving forward, it's your information to have. If it's something that you want to just let grow cobwebs for the rest of the night, that's fine. It'll be there as well. But it's your information and no one else's to be seen. Uh, another thing that we also, that we're proud of is the wraparound where we bring former players back to DC uh, to just go over again their full benefits. You know, the one thing I was always shocked and surprised that, you know, things like line of duty, you didn't realize how many players didn't know or understand what that was about leaving money on the table. But we have like a quick three pager that has 22 different benefits that are available to players to apply for from medical to all different things that I knew the five basics but I didn't know the other you know, 18 of them that were out there. So uh, you get that full outset, we'll send you to the trust. You'll hit all the people within the trust. You'll go to the former players, player affairs, uh, players inc. You'll get all the information, again, bringing your spouse with you. Everything's paid for along with the, the brain and body and the milestone. We pay for your travel, we pay for your hotel. It's door to door service. We have someone pick you up at the airport. That same person picks you up at the hotel. They drop you off, we, we feed you. Everything's in line in that two day session that you'll have so you get that uh, you know, comfortability and make it very simple. It's a very VIP type of deal. It's not a uh, kind of, we'll send you there and you'll figure it out with an itinerary. Everything, is, the pieces are there to kind of guide you uh, with those uh, two parts. When, when is that usually available? When you guys do that after the season or how long after a guy retires do you guys provide the wraparound? Uh, the wraparound is within the two years. So if we have some guys here that hadn't done that within that framework, you can come up. We try to get those guys immediately on social media. We see teams, guys make announcements. We really want to try to get those players up there. I think we've done close to over 90 since 2000, July of 2016 to bring those players and their wives or significant others into the building, and they really get a lot of information. That's really the more information you have as former players, the better. And again, it's from a service level, you know, that's what we're all trying to provide here. So, and then with the brain and body, it's it's whenever your schedule fits. So, you tell us what's a good frame time of frame. We'll call the doctors, the hostels, we'll set it up, and we'll do it according to your schedule to make it convenient for you. Awesome. And the last thing before I move on to Melissa, uh, we were talking about the free agency program. If you can yeah. share a little bit about the free agency program. So there is one small piece that we deal with the current players is, you know, what happens in an area for guys that have played in their third or fourth season and now they become a free agent and they're not immediately getting dra uh, picked up by another team. We provide 18 months of training at up uh, nine Exos performance training facilities across the country. You guys would know that. You see that if you go to the combine, they got a huge setup. They train a lot of the draftees. Well, they get real football training now. They're not going the 24 hour fitness anymore. There's other options for them. We'll fly them there one way. We'll provide them with a the meal. They'll get supplementation. They do have to find their own housing and place to stay at that moment. But I think we all know that some of those prices for some of those performance uh, training to get that, stay in that football shape, you're just not getting that back, as, back at home. So someone will be there uh, as far as the, the training sessions, the evaluations, the nutritionists, everything you need to stay in place. And this is great for teams because now coaches who maybe, you know, release a guy from a, a roster standpoint, want to bring him back. They know what he's doing. They know what he's doing from a training level. And then also for us uh, to utilize our services as they get to that 18 months, reality starts to hit. What are these guys doing to the next, the next level and the next chapter of their lives? Now we can kind of track them, get with them, monitor, monitor them, and let them know, listen, Let's start diving into some of these services. Still take advantage of the full 18 months that you have, but continue to kind of grow in those areas so that they, that transition is there for them and they, they know everything that's going on. Great, and Anthony, uh, again, what, what is, how do you guys best communicate, get it out there, and what's some of the yeah. things that people need to know that you know, dispels a myth or any confusion? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of information, you know, we just don't, we think we have the guys' numbers and emails, but it's not there anymore. They disassociate themselves uh, from the game and, and their teammates, and, and we can't find them. So, you know, if there's 15, 20 guys in here that played, you know, you guys maybe 35, 40 numbers in your phone. That's how we lean on moving forward to really grow it and get and hit all the numbers that we had. Uh, one of the criteria, real quick, is we have, we have a two year minimum to, to unlock the trust benefits. So you have to play at least two credited seasons in the NFL. And, uh, you know, because of the programs, what the costs are, and how we built it all in. That's kind of the number along with how the legends probably came up with theirs, how we can best suit all of those players. And you talked about how also about the trust level. It's so funny because 
you know, there's all these different programs and guys tell me, I get so many emails, you know, what's good, what's not, what's the difference between the legends and the trust? There really is no difference. We're here to serve. We all have a purpose that's best for the, for, for the former players. You know, me and Chad all the time, he'll send me uh, players' names and numbers and information all the time. Hey, these guys need something with the trust. They're talking about stuff that is part of your world and language. And I call them up, we get them set up, and we, and we send them to the trust. That's what it's all about. You know, I would say, you know, I know a lot of guys uh, that are uh, Legends coordinators have taken part in the Brain and Body. I know Mark has done it. I challenge you, all you guys should do it. Try, do something. Understand what we're doing because I make sure that I understand what the Legends are offering, the player care, so I can talk about all these things. I don't mm -hmm. want to pigeonhole guys to say, well, you know, I'm not sure the Legends are doing what that. You've got to check what this guy called it. I know because I, I come to the presentations. You know, Tracy's been... Uh, open the door for me to come and speak at five or six events uh, and, and let the guys understand what's going on. And, and, and that's just a great way to show that, you know, we're really all together in this thing and we, we try to help these guys. And, and I think that's the most important thing. We got to continue to convey that message is there's not road barriers and there's not separate emails. It's all of it collectively is, you know, to, to get the guys what they need. And there's just so many good programs out there. Uh, you know, for all nine captains, we're all subject to certain teams. Uh, we're, we're open to all helping all teams. But, you know, for me, my teams are the Jets, uh, the Buccaneers, and the, uh, and the Rams. Or no, not the Rams, I'm sorry, the uh, Cardinals. I forgot you there. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and basically, we all made a trip to these, uh, to these teams. It was our first time last year. We introduced ourselves first to the uh, player engagement directors to let them know about the free agent program and tried to make our ways to the alumni. Obviously, you know, I deal with Ashley quite a bit. I've, I've sent Jill many uh, emails of some events that we're having. Uh, and, you know, on that personal interaction side, we do a lot of events for the guys to get together. We do go into about 10 to 12 cities every year and have captain events. Uh, we usually have them at a Top Golf. Uh, it's easy for the guys to kind of hang out. Uh, it's not an informal meeting. It's a get together, an interaction process. Guys haven't seen some teammates in a long time. They regrow some of those relationships. We have breakfast clubs that come through the cities uh, that we pick. Um, Exos will take over a YMCA for six weeks, and former players can come and get a six week week regiment. They get gear. They get. Uh, uh, physical therapy, chiropractic, anything they want. I got that suction cup stuff. It's in Tampa right now. Uh, guys get uh, massaged, uh, and they actually go through a workout. You can go as hard or as light as you want to. If you want to just come in for the work, they can do that. Um, there's some pamphlets on the tables uh, with our general information, uh, the website, everything, all the services that are there. Uh, if you go on the website, you can find out all the cities will be in, um, will be in Atlanta, uh, Austin, Texas, Jacksonville, Fort Lauderdale and Frisco for the breakfast clubs, and one is currently in Tampa. So spread the word about that. And you know, we also have a presence at the Super Bowl uh, and the draft also for an engagement uh, uh, deal during those days. So uh, again, all that information is there, and you can contact me and directly. You don't have to contact your direct uh, captain for, for that particular team, or you can just go right to the source uh, at DC, and they'll help you with any questions. Before you go, Andrew. Uh, Andrew has a OK. And before I kind of jump into to my takeaways, what I just want to stress is, uh, you know, the trust programs are not smoke and mirrors. We, we you know, refer guys to them constantly. Um, they have some very substantive programs. So um, please do take that and, and what, you know, Anthony is saying very seriously. I got to interrupt you because I, I, I finished in 2011. I'm now using $30,000 of your money because I'm going to my third screening. One's up in Atlantic City, I just found out. I'll be in Philly for my youth camp, and I'm going. I'm bringing my wife, my third one. I'm not going to be snuck up on the cardiovascular side of it. The, the things that you get is... Hey, is excuse me, Anthony, hold on, hold on. I need you to clarify. <laughs> third, third, wife, third screening or third wife? <laughs> oh, no, 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 what did I say? <laughs> just, just, you know, just... You're on your third hey, choir This isn't even no, recorded. No, 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 no. <laughs> so much information. You gotta, hey, hey, everywhere you go, baby, screening. you got to screen it. You're bringing a wife. Did I really say that? Yeah. Wow. Nah. <laughs> Can I get a little taste? It's what you didn't say by the time that says the most. There is one benefits change that everybody in this room should be aware of. The tuition benefit is now open for, to former players with at least two credited seasons. So it, in years past, it had been open to players with at least five credited seasons, mm -hmm. and that was it. And there's still a time frame. 
So players have 72 months to apply for that benefit from the last game that they played in. But now players with two credited seasons have access to some type of tuition reimbursement benefit. And we work closely with the trust and with uh, their scholarship program, but this is just another area if players are looking to go back to school or looking to participate in one of player engagement's boot camps, um, that is now another resource. Yeah. Patrick, also with your reimbursement, aren't they taxed over a certain amount of money? About 52.50, so, potentially taxable, yeah. Exactly, so if they're doing a program that costs them 20,000, we're that buffer. We don't get tax on those dollars, so now they can use both sides of it and utilize the 20,000 a year that we offer the players, uh, former players, re regardless of how old they are, uh, to, to get that tuition yeah. assistance. Yeah. Thank you, and so, Anthony. I, I want to add to Eric because uh, I did an internal self-check on this whole privacy thing on the player screening side. I had recently updated my life insurance, and I had gone, they wanted my latest cardiovascular information, seeing a doctor, and that was the last time I'd seen it. All that information was at Tulane locked away, and, and Bonnie is the person that I dealt with. I had sent them her card to call him to get it and I, see what would happen. And they've called several times. They couldn't get anybody. No one called them back. And then finally, Bonnie called me and said, listen, we're getting heckled by this company so-and-so. They're asking for your information. Is it okay? You know, what do you want to do with this? And I, and I explained to her, yeah, I forgot to call you guys. But again, it was, it, it was, again it's, it's backed by the privacy that you want. And, and that just assured me on that side, I already know the trust, but on that side, it's, it, it's, it's, it's done the right way. Do we have time for one more question? Anthony, I have a question for you. Uh, I was at a recent meeting with a lot of our legends or within our city there, and the word is out on the uh, brain and body, but I don't think that everybody is familiar with the process. So two-part question is, how do they get involved? Do they call the trust, or is there an online application? And secondly, what is the timeline from that application to actually having your appointment and getting set up for your two-day well, number one, you got to activate your benefit, right? So they have to call, do the intake, and then once their intake is in, which is can be as quick as you want it to be, getting some signed paperwork back to the program manager, now they're going to sit down and start talking about what do you want to do. So if you were to call them tomorrow and get it all set up, send back by the end of the week, you know, set up a meeting next week, Monday, to talk about what you want, and then you say you want to do brain and body, they'll contact, the, you tell them the window of time that you want to go, They'll make the contact, and it's pretty quick from there. It gets done fairly. Kel, if you want to add something real quick to that. 